Assalamualaikum In this part, we are going to learn the introduction of organic spectroscopy We need to understand the terms of spectroscopy What is spectroscopy? Spectroscopy is the study of interaction between matter with electromagnetic radiation What is electromagnetic radiation? Electromagnetic radiation displays properties of both particles and wave. The particles call particles component called as a photon, and the term photon is implies to mean a small massless particle that contains a small pocket uh, wave of electromagnetic radiation. And electromagnetic radiation can be characterized by its wavelength and frequency. The wavelength you can see is the distance between one point on a wave uh, to the same point on the adjacent wave. So here is the wavelength. And the frequency is the number of waves passing per unit is reported in cycle per second, which means in is called as a Hertz. All electromagnetic radiation travels at the speed of light. The speed of electromagnetic radiation is directly proportional to its wavelength and frequency. That's why the C is speed of light is equal to lambda times V. Lambda is the wavelength and V is the frequency. The speed of light is constant so the wavelength and frequency are inversely related. If the wavelength is uh, increased so means the frequency will decrease. When the frequency increases, the wavelength will be decreased. The energy of photon is directly proportional to its frequency. So E is equal to HV. H is a Planck constant, V is the frequency. When we replace the V with the C over lambda, so we bear in mind that the formula for the energy is equal to HC over lambda. Always remember this because C over lambda is C is equal to the frequency. The speed of light is constant and always will be given as 3 times 10 to the power of 10 cm per second. And the wave of particles properties of electromagnetic radiation can interact with it with the matter in two ways, which is collision or coupling. Frequency and wavelength are inversely proportional. That's why when the energy increase, the frequency will increase. If you can see, the E is increased, the frequency will be increased. When the E is increased, the wavelength will be decreased. When E decreases, the wavelength will be increased. This one always have to bear in mind or remember that E is equal to HC over lambda or equal to HV. Based on this principle, uh, always use in to re relate the between the energy and also the wavelength. One more important thing in the spectroscopy is the beers lambert law, which is direct correlate with the concentration of our sample with the light have been absorbed by the sample. The absorbance of the solution will be directly proportional to the concentration of the sample. That's why the absorbance is equal to the molar, molar absorptivity concentration and the length of the uh, sample, the pass length of the sample. That's why if you can see, uh, the absorbance uh, is directly proportional to the concentration of some sample uh, and also it can be transformed into the transmitters based on the logarithm of the uh, light absorb and light uh, transmit out. So transmittance is I over I node. What is I node is light entering the sample and I is the light transmit by the sample. So this absorbent based on this logarithm shows us the percentage of transmitters value. If the sample have 50% transmitters mean Half of the light is absorbed and while 50% will be uh, transmitted out. 
let's see the example of transmitters and the correlation between transmitters and absorbers uh, if the transmitters is 100% means absorbance will become zero no absorbance of the light by the sample if the transmitter all the light is out if the transmitter is 50% means uh, our sample absorb 50% of the light and 50% will transmit out and if 10% of transmit so my, means 19% will be absorbed so that's the relationship between absorbance and transmitters based on this basic principle of electromagnetic radiation and the absorbance and transmitter so that's why the sum of the spectroscopy only based on the certain region and different energy of the uh, energy different wavelength and different frequency of the electromagnetic for radio wave the instrument the organic spectroscopy always use is NMR, the microwave is molecular rotation and infrared uh, is infrared spectroscopy and UV is UV spectroscopy and this 1, 2 and 3 is a common spectroscopy that we will learn in the organic spectroscopy and the relationship between the energy the infrared is more higher energy compared to the UV base sorry, radio uh, UV base is more high energy compared to the infrared and followed by the radio frequency. In the UV base, it can cause the electronic transition in the molecule, and the uh, infrared only can cause the molecular migration and the radio wave, the lower energy if it had only the nuclear spin transition. Only three. So, based on this organic spectroscopy, we use all the information, the combination technique to determine the molecular structure of organic compound. That's all for the introduction.